There are so many opening names in chess and it's super easy to get lost in all of them, particularly in an opening like the Sicilian, which is one of the most played openings in the world and has countless names. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the move orders and names of some of the most popular variations in the open Sicilian. First up, we will be starting with the Sicilian Dragon. Now, this is one of the most aggressive openings in chess. We actually spoke about it in one of our last videos on the most aggressive openings. It's linked down below. And uh, the reason being that both sides are playing to win, which you should do in every chess game, of course, but it uh, doesn't always happen like this, especially with the more solid structures, but uh, the dragon is not that. So we start every game with e4, c5, knight f3, and in this line, black plays d6 first. We will see some games where, uh, some variations where black will play knight c6 first, but for now, let's take a look at the d6 lines. So after d6, white goes straight for the center with d4 and uh, we capture, capture and knight f6 attacking this e pawn. White plays knight c3 defending the pawn and g6. This is where we start the Sicilian dragon and this bishop will be coming to g7, becoming the dragon bishop. Black castles kingside, white castles queenside, white can castle kingside, but uh, most of the times it's queenside. And yeah, you've got different attacks happening on the different flanks and uh, it's a pretty exciting opening. Then we've got the Nidorf or Najdorf. There are a few different ways to say these, don't hold me to it. It's just like Fianchetto, Fianchetto, um, as long as we're all on the same page about what we're talking about. So the knight of e4, c5, we have gotten used to this move order. This is what Sicilian is. d6 again from black, d4, white takes the center, takes, takes, knight of 6 and now black plays a6. In the dragon, we had g6, now we've got a6. a6 does a few things. It stops either of white's knights coming to b5, but it also prepares uh, b5 by black later on. Uh, and the bishop can come to b7. There are many different lines here uh, for black, but this a6 move is what's actually going to become a, quite a common move in the Sicilians that we'll see. There's a lot of theory here. This is one of the most popular lines, um, and it is also can become quite active and uh, aggressive. Then we've got this Skeveningen. So I'll be honest with you, every time, time I try to spell this out, write it out, I have to go through it in my head. It's uh, not the easiest name, I would say, uh, but nevertheless, it is one of the more uh, popular variations in Sicilian. And let's take a look at the move order. e4, c5, knight f3, d6, d4, takes, takes, knight f6. And now black plays e6 which might look a little bit strange previously we had g6 we had a6 but with e6 black is controlling the central squares e5 d5 and uh, development might be a little bit slower but uh, it is a pretty overall solid structure for black in a lot of lines black aims to push d5 as well okay another funny name sveshnikov some people say Sveshnikov, I've heard that. It's very subtle, but either we pronounce the V hectically or we don't. Um, Sveshnikov. <laughs> but that's why we're having this video. We're practicing the names uh, E4, C5. This is also quite popular. This is one of those lines, just like the dragon, that has tons of theory until like move uh, 20, I think. Uh, but here we've got E4, C5, Knight F3, Knight C6. Previous lines we were looking at were it's black playing d6. So knight comes out to c6 first, takes, takes, knight f6, knight c3, and e5. Now with e5, it might look a little bit weird. We are creating some weaknesses on d5, but it's going to be um, an interesting game with kicking these knights around. Sometimes this knight wants to go to uh, b5 where black just needs to be careful to not allow knight d6 so black plays d6 himself um, yeah there are quite a few different ways um, 
to go, but not from this position. From here, basically, uh, theory is pretty much set. The knight does go to b5 and d6 is played. You can kick the knight away, but then you're allowing knight d6, so it's better to ensure d6 coming first. And bishop g5, again, solid moves. These will come up there are part of the integral theory of this line. So a lot of moves you would have to learn. Let's just take a quick look at the classical. Now classical is an easy way to remember it. It's, it's just classical, good old fashioned um, development. This is another d6 line, d4 takes, takes. And now the point is that black just develops super normally. Um, it was, the book says that it was known as just the variation with no names and they gave it the classical variation because it's very often played. There are lines within this opening that can come to become aggressive, but black just wants to develop quickly and get a normal solid game going. So let's talk about this book. In general, if you want to uh, take a quick a look at all the lines we looked at check out our blog post in the description box below but if you want to actually start playing the sicilian which i think i might just after writing and recording this and you know uh delving into what exactly the sicilian is this book starting out the sicilian by john ems is really great uh it tells you it gives you a bunch of different lines all of those we just spoke about in this video and it's gives you different uh, options to choose from. I mean, from the dragon to uh, the classical, it goes through everything. And it also gives you white's other responses, like if white decides to go for the closed Sicilian or the Alapin with uh, C3 on the second move. It's a very comprehensive book for you to start exploring this because E5 is a great response to E4, of course, but it can become very symmetrical. C5, from the get-go, you are changing things up in the opening. You are asking white for a fight. So with this book, it's a great way to start out to experience or explore a few different lines. Let's say uh, the one you've tested out, Dragon, doesn't suit you. Okay, go on to the next um, and see what it actually does. Uh, so yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, we will be exploring a few more openings, so stay tuned and hit that subscribe button.